Hello friends, in this video we will see how to calculate work done on a spring scale. You may remember the work done on a spring is given as half k x2 square minus half k x1 square. In this case k is the spring constant, x2 is the final spring length and x1 is the initial spring length. So let us illustrate all this using an example. So in this problem, a Bowman, a Bowman weighing 600 Newton, so the weight of Bowman is given and that is 600 Newton. A steps on a bathroom a scale that contains a stiff a spring as shown in the figure below. So this is the scale and this is a stiff a spring on which uh, basically this a scale bathroom a scale on which she is standing and this spring will be compressed. In equilibrium the spring is compressed by one centimeter. So once she comes on this bathroom a scale this spring is compressed and this compression is by one centimeter. So this distance by which this compresses is given and that is one centimeter. So let's call this as a one centimeter that is given under her weight find the force constant of the spring and the total work done on it during the compression so we have to find two things one is a spring constant k and how much work that has been done on the uh, spring so there are two things that we have to find so how we will find this so to find k we will use the equilibrium condition. So what will happen in equilibrium? So in equilibrium, so in equilibrium there are two forces that is acting. So Bowman is trying to push this thing, the balance, and this a spring is trying to push this up. So one is trying to push it down, another is trying to push it up. So these two forces at equilibrium will be equal. So we can write at equilibrium the upward force by a spring that is upward force by a spring and this will be equal to the downward force by the bowman. So downward force. downward force by the bait of by the bait of bowman so if you equate these two you can basically uh, get the k value that is the spring constant so to solve this problem we have to use a sign convention so we will use a sign convention and the my sign convention in this case is anything that is in the upper direction is positive this means elongation of a spring is positive but the compression of a spring is negative. Similarly, the displacement of Bowman in the downward direction is negative. So in this case, I can say using this sign convention, displacement of a spring or compression of a spring. So compression of a spring and this is a negative quantity. Similarly, using this convention, I can say force exerted by the Bowman is negative because Bowman is applying a force in the negative direction. So force by Bowman is negative and also the displacement of Bowman is also a negative quantity. So displacement because she is going in the downward direction displacement of Bowman that is also negative so I will use this sign convention to calculate the force and uh, force constant K so as I said in equilibrium what will happen you have to use that is the total force applied by the Bowman is equals to total force applied by the spring so let us calculate these two forces so the downward force or you can say uh, downward force by Bowman 
and this value is nothing but 600 newton so if you remember the weight of bowman is 600 newton but this is in the downward direction so i have to put a negative sign now similarly the displacement of a spring x is equals to 0.01 meter that is 0 0.01 meter and this is also a compression and in the negative direction that is in the downward direction so i have to put a negative sign here now i can apply force is equals to kx at equilibrium the force by the spring is equals to kx we know we can calculate this force and we can write x is equals to nothing but f divided by k so let us try to understand all this so what i'm saying force by the bowman this is equals to minus 600 newton and k i have to find and x is given that is minus 0 0.01 meter so now i can plug all this in this equation so let's call this equation one so i can plug all this in equation one so i can write x is equals to I basically have to find k so I can also write the same expression k is equals to f divided by x so f is minus 600 newton and x is minus 0 0.01 meter remember both are negative force is negative as well as displacement is negative compression of a spring is negative that's why in both cases in the numerator as well as in the denominator you can see a negative sign now if you solve it will come k is equal to 6 into 10 to the power 4 newton per meter so this is the force constant value for this spring So what I have done, I have done simply one thing that is at equilibrium force applied by the or weight applied by the bowman or force applied by the bowman is equals to the force applied by the spring. Now let us come to the second part of the problem. So second part says we have to calculate work done on the spring. So let us calculate work done on the spring. So work done on the spring. work done on a spring if you remember this is nothing but change in potential energy of a spring that is half k x2 a square minus half k x1 a square now x1 is zero because initially the spring has not been compressed so this is simply half k x square now i know the x value and the k value so i can calculate this term half k K I just calculated 6 into 10 to the power 4 Newton per meter and then X value is minus 0 0.01 and then meter so I have to write this meter and then a square so if you calculate this will be 3 joule so this is the work done on the spring so you see this is a positive quantity this means this amount of work has been done on the spring this is logical because when you are compressing the spring you are doing some work on the spring similarly if you are elongating the spring you are doing some work on the spring so this is the work done on the spring that's why this is a positive quantity so this is the amount of work done on the spring now in this problem i have use the sign convention that is the upward direction is positive you can also solve the same problem by considering downward direction is positive so if you consider downward direction as positive your displacement of a spring will be positive as well as your force in the downward direction that is due to the weight of this uh, bowman will also be positive so as you are writing in this case k is equals to f by x 
this f will be positive and x will also be positive so finally you will get the same answer so it doesn't matter what kind of sign convention you are using you can either use upward direction as a positive as well as downward direction as a positive but be consistent with that sign convention for a given problem then you will get the same or uh, correct answer in this case hope you like this video see you in the next video thank you